terrorism in Nigeria's northern region, protecting you and I and keeping Nigerians safe. So this is for them. It's our way of saying thank you to them and ensuring that their psychological and social well-being is well taken care of. Okay. Yeah. And just to mention also that uh, the dignitaries upon arrival, uh, they walk just behind us here to that little shed over there where you have uh, two of Nigeria's veteran soldiers and just, you know, solidarize with them and encourage them. You know, uh, while we all go about our duties, these men ensure that we're safe and we're able to sleep with our two eyes closed at night. And it's important to also reiterate that this visit is coming at a time, you know, when uh, the conversations about the work of Nigerian armed forces uh, um, is on the front burner basically and so it's timely you know to raise funds for them to ensure their welfare to ensure that they have a new lease of life uh, to ensure that they are able to live even beyond uh, the challenges of PTSD of uh, trauma after you know the, the, the their time at the war front and to mention also uh, that the war against insurgency is still ongoing yeah, at, at this time so here's what we'll try to do perhaps speak to some of them uh, the veterans and just hear what this means uh, to them so come with us let's speak to uh, some of these veterans they're just seated uh, right there under the shade they are the highlights of this day uh, as well so for just a moment or two uh, we're gonna have a word uh, with them hello sirs good afternoon so we're just saying earlier that we understand that this event is for you to raise awareness about the work you've done for Nigeria on the field. So we'd just like to speak to you for a moment. Tell us about your experience and what this means, uh, raising funds for wounded soldiers in Nigeria. So you can tell us your name, where you served, and then what this means to you. Uh, Assalamu alaikum. My name is Sergeant Ahmed Bapa. I served in 65 Battalion, Bonica, Lagos. Really, Nigeria Army have tried for us. We thank God they have taken care of us. We cannot deny it. We really appreciate the way Nigeria Army is due to us. We have certain injury in the medical fighting Boko Haram. I get an injury, I lost my right hand. And I thank God may God continue to bless our country with uh, everything that is in the area. Fantastic. I know this is very emotional for you uh, as well. And so you, sir. Let's hear from you as well, sir. Tell us your name, where you served, and especially the significance of this event for you and for other wounded soldiers of the Nigerian Armed Forces. I appreciate. My name is Corporal Beniza Otobong from 65 Battalion, Nigerian Army. I'm very grateful for what Army did to us today. Then today is our event. I am a special force uh, fighting for this nation. Unfortunately, I lost my storm on the fight. There is so much give God the glory. I am still alive. I am still continuing fighting till I die. For the faithful and great of this nation, I am grateful to be here. Thank you very much. Thank you very much, sir. Thank you for your time. And so you've heard it. Uh, we've interacted with Nigerian soldiers, veterans who uh, fought at the war front and, you know, through... Um, one event, one incident or the other, lost a limb, but they are appreciative of the efforts of the Nigerian army to ensure that their life uh, still gets a meaning. And that really is the answer of the Invictus Games, this fundraiser for our wounded soldiers. Uh, there are high expectations about what this would achieve, especially for the armed forces and how it would help them, you know, to get a, a new lease of life. Kadi. Yeah, and um, just on a, on a larger scale as well, uh, this is also to raise awareness for mental health. Uh, for children. Remember that one of their first ports of call when they came was the school and they talked with children how to handle emotional issues, psychological issues. And there's also the focus on what sports can do uh, to help essentially psychology of people, the social welfare. Earlier on, they were at the Giant of Africa uh, charity and that focuses on basketball. So this is all round sports. And we know that we're a nation that loves our sports from football uh, to basketball. You saw what Rivers Hoopers did of late. So we are trying to essentially speak about how sports can help uh, to improve our well-being for the veterans and for our nation as well. So we're still live at the Del Boro Lagos. Uh, it's a beautiful edifice, I must tell you. And we've had dignitaries upon dignitaries uh, walking in to grace this August event, I must say. It's Invictus Games 
fundraiser for injured warriors. You heard from some of them earlier on how they paid the price uh, for security and safety. So we're live. The fundraiser will begin soon. And at that point, uh, we'll be giving you the updates. And just to add that, you know, um, Africa would be a huge rallying point for the Invictus Games because there are armed conflicts in a number of countries in Africa. Uh, you could talk about DR Congo, you could talk about Somalia, you could talk about Chad, uh, Sudan. Uh, you know, these neighboring countries, you know, are with Nigeria on the fight against insurgency. At a, at a time, Nigeria was the capital, the headquarters of a command and control center. So upon the success you know, of this fundraiser, perhaps it could be expanded on the frontiers of the continent uh, to give the armed forces of the different countries fighting wars on the borders you know, some lease of life, give them uh, you know, a new beginning uh, to ensure that beyond their time at the war front, life indeed goes on and to help their mental health as well while they're at it. Kyrie. Absolutely. Uh, just to reiterate that uh, the big issues here include the Olu of Wari, the only war of the war, uh, Sir Olu of Kelwo, Joshua's Chief Razab Okoye and his wife, Ashadi. We have Tiwa Savage here as well. And uh, the lineup is quite huge. It's an exclusive uh, event. And I do hope that this Beyond the Visit raises awareness as to the issues being talked about here. So stay with us right here on Channels Television as we uh, give you a live coverage of the Invictus Games fundraising. It's an event being attended by Prince Harry and his wife, Meghan Merkel, the Duke and Duchess of Sussex. You know that uh, she's 43% Nigerian, and I remember that uh, she got some Nigerian names, uh, by the way. So let me just reel it out for you, uh, those names. This is, by the way, not the first time she's gotten Nigerian names. But of late, uh, she was named... Uh, let me give you that one. Ifoma. Exactly. Uh, Ifoma means that uh, someone uh, who is a treasure... treasure. Thin, and Amowale thin, means, you know, the child has, has come home. home. Yeah. And after her uh, test, yeah. her uh, DNA test conducted in 2022, she discovered that she's 42% Nigerian. So Another she's come right? home, 43. Yeah. <laughs> and she's Don't come take home. the 1%. <laughs> <laughs> so we're live here. Uh, we'll go back to the studio to return uh, if anything big happens. Stay with us right here, Channels Television.